Brandon Wyatt for WeAreColrain.com. We're at Colrain High School to preview the 2009 Colrain Cardinal Week 1 opponent, St. X, in the Crosstown Showdown. Coach Bolden, it's Week 1, the 2009 season. We get to start it off like we've started off the uh, last couple years, down at Nippert Stadium at the Skyline Crosstown Showdown. Talk about what it's like to play in such an event. Well, I, I think it's premier uh, high school football event, you know, in, in the country. It's absolutely awesome. Uh, you know, Nippert's become our kind of home away from home. You know, we've played in this event all 12 years, and then uh, we've played quite a few playoff games there. And, and Tom Gamble and DSA Sports and, 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 you know, Skyline and Meyer and Dr. Pepper, they do a great job with it. And it's, it's uh, really special for high school kids in Cincinnati, and it's great for the fans. Now, Colerain has played in some nice venues, played at Paul Brown Stadium, played at Columbus Crew Stadium. Talk about the intimacy at Nippert and what it's like down there on the UC campus. Yeah, yeah no dis disrespect to Crew Stadium and, and Paul Brown and things like that. But, uh, you know, Paul Brown, that's a pro stadium, you know. And, uh, but the great thing about Nippert is, you know, we've played so many games there. Like I said earlier, it's kind of home away from home. You know, and, you know, we've played games in there where, you know, it's 33,000 seats that doesn't look like there's a seat, seat in there. So uh, it'll be rocking again Friday night against St. X. This is the third time in five years we've played each other in this event. And this is the sixth time in, in, in the three years that we've played. So it, it's absolutely phenomenal, and it, it, it'll be something special. Okay, let's talk about your opponents for week one. It's the St. X Bombers, coached by Steve Speck. Um, offensively, Luke Massa, and they got the big offensive tackle, Matt James. Tell us offensively what to, what to look for. Well, they're good. They're a disciplined football team. Uh, you know, they're not going to turn the ball over, things like that. They're going to take care of the football. You just got to play assignment football. Uh, you know, Matt James up front, he's, he's just a large human to say the least. Uh, I've known him actually in his family for quite a long time, and he's as nice a kid as he is a big kid. And then, uh, you know, Luke Massa, he's a kid. I'm telling you, he's as good as it gets as far as quarterbacks. I mean, that kid can flat out play. UC's got a great one in him. And, uh, you know, he can make all the throws uh, without a doubt. Now, they didn't have that great of a uh, uh – didn't have a great of a season last year. Yeah. He missed a lot of games. Yeah. With all the talk about Elder Moeller from the GCL, is the chance that we're overlooking the talent on well, X? Well, I think so. I, you know, I think when you look at the GCL, it's almost like you could put them all on a hat and, and, and pull one out. I mean, that, that's about as close as it gets as, as, as far as parity in a league. Um, you know, and they were just snake bitten last year. Was the reason why they were four and six. They played they played a hellacious schedule and were snake bitten with injuries. And uh, you know that led to them being four and six without a doubt. Okay, uh, defensively, traditionally they have given Colerain fits. They they can defend the option. Uh, what are some of the players to look for there, and what do you expect out of the well, defense? Well, you know, like I alluded to earlier, the reason why they give us such fits is because they're smart football players. They play assignment football, and uh, uh, you know. They've got uh, Nigel Muhammad, who's a returning defensive end for them, uh, who has game experience, very athletic kid. Actually, he's uh, uh, you know, transformed his body, really looks like a football player now. And then they've uh, the other kid that really stands out is, uh, well, there's two other ones, but another one is uh, uh, Steven Daniels, who was a sophomore last year, played the um, stack backer for him. I believe he's, he's playing the adjuster for him this year. Uh, may play some stack also, but uh, he's the biggest kid out there playing that, that safety backer position at 240 pounds. He's athletic as all get out, so he's definitely a force. And then, and then a kid, uh, you know, Nick Weston and Will Carroll are, are also returning starters in the secondary fall. who will be disciplined. Uh, you know, I don't think they get enough credit for uh, how athletic and, and how physical they can be. Okay, enough about them. What do you see as the key to the victories? For the Colerain Cardinals this week one? Well, I think t taking care of the football. You know, I think if we take care of the football offensively, our, de our defense is good enough without a doubt. I think if we, if we do what we're supposed to do offensively and we take care of the football, uh, we're going to be fine. Okay. Any last words you'd like to give uh, to the people in the stands, the Cardinal fans, the Red Riot? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just just come on out in full force. Let's 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 have it rocking like we uh, like we do year in and year out. You know they'll be out in uh, in their true form. So let's make sure we're all out there getting after it and uh, let, let's have fun getting after St. X. All right. Good luck in week one and have a great season. I appreciate coach. it. Thank you guys. Thank you, Al. Thank you.